top of the morning to you, whosoever's. This is Tony Whosoever's. Uh, we're doing a, a, a series of uh, questions. If you ever like have questions about the Bible and what the Bible has, today question is what is sin? You know, you know, all of us are sinners <clears throat> when we're conceived in our mother's womb. It's a trait that we have from our great 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 grandfather our great grandfather Adam and Eve our great grandma so what is sin you know sin is to miss the mark um, perfect anything that's not from the venue of perfection is sin so the question arises uh, you know where did sin come from what exactly is sin? And let me read this to you. So what is sin? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord's return is closer today than it was yesterday, guys. So what is sin? While it has become politically incorrect to talk about sin, the scripture makes it very crystal clear that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. First of all, what is sin? Sin is not just murder, rape, robbery. Sin is falling to do, failing also to do the things we should be doing and the things we should not. You know, there, there was called the sins of omission and sins of commission. Things you should have done and didn't do and things you did and shouldn't have done. Again, you know, God's standard is 100% perfection. I can't do it. Thus, sin is the barrier between you and satisfying relationship with God. Just as light and dark cannot exist together, neither can God and sin. Again, furthermore, sin is a barrier between us and other people. You need to not only read the newspaper and listen to the news report to see truly how bad sin is. We live in a time when terrorism abounds and when the world we know is not only like rebelling against God, but actually embracing sin that the Bible calls sin. You know, yes, we all struggle. Yes, we all have issues in our life, but we don't embrace it. We don't parade it. So we don't, you know, we, we're not like Sodom and Gomorrah that, you know, actually promoted it. You know, and, and that's what Sodom, the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah was was the sin of promoting homosexuality. You know, they looked at the angels and they and they told Lot, hey, let, let us lay with them. I mean, they were, I guess they were horny, right? You know, and God, and God said, oh, you know, even Lot said, oh, wow, this is pretty wicked. You know, but the Bible says a picture of sin is, you know, like it was in Sodom and Gomorrah, shall, it shall be at the, at the end of the age or the end of... The Lord's return. Um, again, finally, sin is the depri deprivation of good. As such, sin is characterized by the lack of something rather than being something in itself. As noted above, sin is a break in relationship to God and others that are being uh, in, in your circle of influence. Uh, John chapter 3, verse 4 through 6 says everyone who sins breaks the law in fact sin is lawlessness but you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins and in him there is no sin no one who lives in him keeps on sinning no one who is continues to sin has neither seen him or known him again you know when god's righteousness comes upon us guys we still have the process of sanctification you know as we mature in the Lord we're going to sin less you know, not as much you know you know the Bible also says that you know when you are tempted you know God will make a way out to bear that you know sinful thought or sinful deed you know and God will make a way but we have to, like, when we're tempted, we have to, 
you know, go to God in prayer. Oh, Lord, I'm tempted. You know, and uh, God does a work in your life. You're still going to continue to sin, but the justification by faith happens, and, and, and the Lord is able to have a relationship with you when God redeems you by the blood of the Lamb, not by your good works or your lack of sinning. You know, there's so many sins. <laughs> there's a whole list of sins here. Not forgiving, that's a sin. Failing to honor others, that's a sin. Failing to keep your fervor, that's a sin. Failing to serve or give, that's a sin. Failing to live at peace with another person, that's a sin. Failing to love God, that's a sin. Failing to love your neighbor as yourself, that's a sin. Failing to trust God, that's a sin. Failing to worship God, that's a sin. Failing to honor God, that's a sin. Failing to believe in Jesus, that's a sin. Failure to honor one's parents, that's another sin. Failing to give thanks to God, that's a sin. Failing to glorify God, that's a sin. Failing to love to fear the Lord, that's a sin. Failing to test the new teaching in scriptures, that's a sin. Failing to discern and guard against false teachers and prophecies, that's a sin. Failure to guard life and doctrine, that's a sin. Failure to repay debts, that's a sin. Failure to care for orphans and to widows in distress, that's a sin. Failures, fa failing to defend the faith, that's a sin. Failing to share the gospel, that's a sin. Wrong teachings, that's a sin. Insincere love, that's a sin. Causing someone else to sin, that's a sin. Sexual impurity, that's a sin. Homosexuality, that's a sin. Idolatry, that's a sin. Greed, blasphemy, misusing the Lord's name in prayer. You know, I when I first became a Christian, I, you know, when you take the Lord's name in vain, it was, you know, oh, oh God damn it, or something, right? That's taking the Lord's name in vain, right? But to me, I, I think another using the Lord's name in vain is when you call a statue Jesus. That's that's not true. Mo, and, and Maury Povich said, and he came back. You are not the father, you know. <laughs> you know that is said to be false. You know, there's still like 60 more sins here, guys. Drunkenness, that's a sin. Every time you go to a party, that's a sin. Every time you look at a woman with lust, that's a sin. Anytime you uh, you say half truths, that's a sin. Stealing, that's a sin. Sorcery, that's a sin. Witchcraft, that's a sin. Divination, horoscopes. If you start reading your horoscopes, that's a sin. Consulting of the dead. Praying to the saints, guys, is consulting in the dead. Condemned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 11. You know, so I tell my, you know, I tell my my family members who worship, you know, uh, the saint, um, Santo Rivio Romo, I, I said, well, yeah, he might be saved. He might be with the Lord, but you shouldn't pray to him. You should pray to God the Father through Jesus. Because technically, you're, this is ancestry worship, and this is also a sin. And you're praying to the dead. That is also a sin. Astrology is a sin. Deceit's a sin. Murder is a sin. Strife is a sin. Malice is a sin. Hating God. Insolence is a sin. Arrogance is a sin. Being boastful is a sin. Inventing evil and disobeying parents. <laughs> Those are all sins. Failure to read your Bible. That's a sin. Failure to forgive your brother. That's a sin. Fail oh my God, there's like, do you, do you know how many laws can be breaking? I think there's like 613 laws that we can break. You know, even eating shrimp is a sin. So, um, what do we do knowing that, you know, everything's a sin? And you're not going to get out of this world alive, and you're not going to get out of here and go to heaven because of your good works or your lack of sinning. So you best find out in the Bible, read the word that you may know that you have eternal life. How to deal with it, and, and, and it's all by faith through grace. So tomorrow we're going to go into 
again another one how can I be certain that I've not committed the unforgettable sin the sin that is unforgettable there is a sin that is not forgivable that you can do you want to know what that is I'll tell you right now you might not hear the next message next week or tomorrow or whenever the Lord has me do it but the unforgivable sin guys is that you die in unbelief you know you can't get to heaven and go oh shh it was true God is God is here God is going to judge me you know oh Lord I, I believe now I believe nope too late you're dead already it is destined for man to die and then comes the judgment Don't die. And, and, and you guys, no one stands before God at the white throne judgment and makes it. No one. But everybody who's born again and receives the Lord Jesus Christ before they die are saved. So, again, use whatever time you have for the Lord because we're heading into the end times. In the nombre de Jesucristo. Amen.